The U.S. and Iran are holding more talks this morning on regulating Iran's nuclear program. That follows a tough warning on Tuesday from Israel's prime minister. Benjamin Netanyahu told Congress the Obama administration is pursuing a bad deal that would endanger his country. Major Garrett is at the White House where President Obama rejects the prime minister's warning. Major, good morning. Good morning. The moment was unique. At times it almost looked like a State of the Union address, except the thunderous ovations were for an Israeli prime minister openly questioning U.S. diplomacy while campaigning for re-election. President Obama did not watch the speech, but then later dismissed its content. All this happening while the clock ticks on a potential nuclear deal with Israel's arch enemy, Iran. Benjamin Netanyahu warned Congress the emerging deal will lift punishing economic sanctions while preserving much of Iran's nuclear technology and ballistic missile capability. That's why this deal is so bad. It doesn't block Iran's path to the bomb. It paves Iran's path to the bomb. The applause loud and sustained. Leaving it impossible to discern how much was for Israel and how much for the Prime Minister, which may have been as Netanyahu and House Speaker John Boehner, who invited him without White House consent, wanted it. President Obama convened this teleconference with European leaders on Ukraine during Netanyahu's speech, then told reporters the transcript revealed, quote, nothing new. Now, the alternative that the Prime Minister offers is no deal, in which case Iran will immediately begin once again pursuing its nuclear program accelerate its nuclear program without us having any insight into what they're doing. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi called Netanyahu's speech condescending and insulting. It was near tears because I love Israel very much. I, I, I value the importance of the relationship between Israel and the United States. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said the choice isn't, as the White House often contends, a deal with Iran or war. The choices between this deal and tougher sanctions. McConnell said the Senate will debate next week legislation to formally require the president to seek approval from Congress for any Iran deal. If that schedule holds, it will be the first test of the staying power of Netanyahu's speech. Major, Charlie? Thank you, Major.